esotericism, essentially understanding the the energies that underlie all life and the alchemy of it, and really it's it's about uh, identifying and recognizing a certain energy and uh, how to align the forces, how to align the forces to channel the energies from the highest realm to the lowest. In an effort to evoke esoteric response, okay. the task is to train students in the recognition of energy and force, to discriminate between the various types of energy, both in relation to themselves and to world affairs, and to begin to relate that which is seen and experienced to that which is unseen, conditioning, and determining. This is the esoteric task. It's essentially the, the application and realization of the law of cause and effect. Just like Master Thoth would tell you, all is law, right? For every, for every effect, there is a cause, but few ever find the cause, right? Because they're lost in the world of reactions and uh, um, the effect or, or the, the manifestation, right? They never actually see the source, which is very hidden. From Education in the New Age, pages 60 through 62. 2. Esotericism is the art of bringing down to earth those energies which emanate from the highest sources and there grounding them or anchoring them. From Education in the New Age, page 67. 3. I would ask all esotericists to live redemptive lives, to unfold their innate mental sensitivity, and to work continuously with the meaning which is to be found behind all individual, community, national, and world affairs. If this is done, then the light will suddenly and increasingly shine upon your ways. You can become light bearers, knowing then that in the light you will see light, and so will your fellow men. From Education in the New Age, page 68. I dig that. Uh, this goes right along with my research and work on uh, Masterpiece on Aligning the Forces. Top. Aligning the forces within. It's truly the key. And until you can align the forces within and recognize the higher forces and allow them to dominate and in fact override the lower forces therefore channeling things from the highest and transmuting it into the the soul unification the soul expression right uh that that is that is the alchemy that is the great work is recognizing these forces right discerning them and then using them to attain the will of like of the high of the highest the hierarchy i guess the highest order of things um, aligning forces is very difficult. It's got so many damn elements and aspects in terms of, you know, your awareness, your emotions, your thoughts, your intentions, your environment, the astrological configuration of the day, right? Different cycles, but all is la. One Dao Master.